Hi, I'm Mr. Greg Blaney. Today I'm going to show you how to test and replace a receptacle. What I have here is what we call a receptacle tester. And what it does is you take it, you plug it into a grounded receptacle such as this. You always want to look for two yellow or two orange lights. If you don't see that, it's time to change the wiring to whatever the correct wiring needs to be. Now the first thing you want to do, if you have a problem with your wiring is cut your electricity off in your panel. This is normally screwed into an electrical box such as this, which you really don't see because it's in, in the wall. You screw this out the wall. Your hot wire is the black or the red. White is your neutral, green is your ground. The gold side of my receptacle is where your hot wire goes. The silver side of my receptacle is where your neutral goes. The green terminal is for ground. Strip just a little bit of the insulation off. Then I'll take this, a pair of needle nose pliers, and I'm gonna just grasp the end of it and put a little loop on it. I'm gonna put it on the white terminal. Electric connectors have to be tight. If they're not tight, it can cause it to arc. Arcing can cause fires because it's got a little flash where the connection is not tight. You want to make sure your connections are always tight. With my hot is already stripped, I'm going to put a loop on this the same way I did with the neutral. And I'm going to take and install it on the gold terminal, which is the hot side. I'm going to put the green wire, which is the ground, on the ground terminal. Here's my hot terminal, nice and tight on this side. And I flip this over, you see my neutral, which is my white, on my silver terminal. You got my green, which is my ground, on my grounding terminal. Before I insert this back into the wall, you always want to take a piece of black electrical tape, and you want to put it around your receptacle. Screw this into the box itself, this receptacle. I'm ready to go down, cut my power back on. I'm going to plug my tester back in. When we run this this time, we should have two yellow lights. Not sure what you're doing, do call a licensed electrician. Just little basic repairs that you can do on your own.